Hey, what's up, YouTube? And welcome to day six of Ringo's Advent Challenge. So, what we're looking at here is, um, I think uh, the last video we showed you that stuff, uh, which is the SDE stuff, minus the heroes. So, now I'm working on the heroes, and tonight I did about an hour and a half worth of airbrushing on the heroes. And so, uh, what you're looking at here, um, there are no have not taken a brush to any of these models yet. This is all just color blocking um, with the airbrush. So anyway, here's the pack of heroes and you can see, you know, pretty simple. I'm just taking the primary color of the model and then just taking it up with some highlights. Uh, that's a sorceress. Um, you can see some models have multiple things on them that you can airbrush. So here's the paladin and uh, the Paladin, you can see I, I started the highlights up on his armor. Uh, you could see the some of the sword. The I'm using regular metallics again on these models. The sword, the hair, um, and the cloak. So that's a lot done on this. Um, and yeah, so this is just the color blocking. The dwarf here. That's a cool... Uh, this is where... Regular metallics really shine above the non-metallics is, you know, rounded helmets and that kind of stuff. I think it looks really cool uh, when you airbrush the regular metallics. Oops. Oh. <laughs> so here's the druid. Um, believe it or not, that was actually a fairly extensive airbrushing session to get the colors up to this whitish. You know, it's really more of a kind of a taupe color. Um for the druid um and then you've got like the um the fire mage here you can see that uh red to yellow transition that fiery thing that i'm going here with here um so these models actually you know the detail and the the heavy work is going to be on the faces but you know you can get a lot done color blocking these models. And there's finally, that's the rogue. So, some transitions there. So, that's it for painting for tonight, anyway. I'm not going to paint any more tonight. I'm actually going to spend the rest of my time dun, 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 on this project. So, starting to build Robotech RPG Tactics. So, here is one Veritech fighter and let me tell you man <laughs> this is a lot of work I know these miniatures in here let me let me give you some idea of scale here so here's SDE and there is uh, Robotech Tactics so just so you know they're these are small but man the number of pieces that these things come in you would be surprised we're talking see if I can get it to you focus here we're talking separate antenna um, in the case of this battleoid here, the battleoid mode. So this is one Veritech fighter, just in the three different modes. Um, the the cockpit shield, you glue those on separately. You glue the antenna on separately. Um, there are a lot of pieces here. Missile pods are in two different uh, pieces. Um, the missile clusters are in two separate pieces. Uh, but man, they're, they're super fun looking. I was surprised at how small they are because the piece, the number of pieces to put these together is significant. And, um, you know, you're going to want to break out the tweezers because, uh, the tweezers and your small knife to put these together. Um, the instructions are, are okay, but the way these are arranged on the sprue, um, you're going to have to do a little bit of searching to get all your pieces together right. So anyway, that's going to be it for this update. Uh, I am going to spend the rest of the night trying to put together a few more of these Valkyries. Uh, but yeah, this update has gone on long enough. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you on the next one. And we're back. So uh, this is now night eight of Ringo's Advent Challenge, and I think I showed you guys in the first part of this video the basic blocking. Um, tonight I did a, a little interview podcast uh, with a friend of mine, Mark Dieter, uh, of, of the Questing Knights podcast, and I went ahead and painted in eyes and 
and blocked out flesh while we were having that conversation. So uh, about an hour, maybe uh, between one and two hours worth of painting here. Uh, and you can see that I've just kind of painted in the little chibi eyes and um, started to block out the flesh. Uh, that's all that's going to happen tonight. It's been a very long day. Uh, very fun to record that podcast. Uh, we also have, uh, I also have some editing to do. I have to do part six of the Relic Knights intro uh, with Robert Allen. So that's been recorded. It just requires a small amount of editing to get that up and going. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for tonight. I'll uh, catch us up uh, when I do some more painting.